So today I'm going to talk to you guys about international shipping. If you haven't seen my US shipping video for PayPal, go ahead and watch that because I know it's helped with a lot of people. But we're going to go ahead and start from the beginning. It's pretty much similar. You go to this website, paypal.com slash ship now. You have to go to this website. I have some people went to the wrong website. You have to go to this one in order to access the shipping now through PayPal. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. You can go ahead and create your account if you haven't done so. It doesn't matter if you do personal or if you do um, business, I use my personal one that I already had. So this is what pops up when you sign in. So you click on the country. Now there's different countries here, pretty much any country that you wanna choose from. So we're just gonna go to Canada, for example. I'm gonna go ahead and put in an address. So a lot of customers, if you don't know what to price it for, what I like to do is go on Google and type in best restaurants in like in Ontario Canada for example I've already did it in Ireland because someone has bought for me in Ireland and Canada so you can also ask for what part of the country they live in like the province or the city the state or whatever it's called in their country you can ask for it that way you can get a better shipping estimate so I go to the best restaurants and I just click a random one in the state province area that they live in within their country and I copy and paste the address. That way I can get a pretty accurate estimate. So I'll paste it into here. The zip code and format of each country is sometimes different. So you can just look that up on Google. Just type in um, address format in Canada. So address format for Canada. And it will give you different examples on what's their postal code or whatever because sometimes different countries have different addresses that are quite confusing sometimes. For example, you can do address format, you can do Ireland. And it will break it down to you. Um, you just look through here or look in the Google images is really what I like to do because it's pretty much easier to look at a picture than it is to go reading through a bunch of um, websites. So this ON is for Ontario. That is the province here in Canada. And the city is Vine Lynn Station. And that is the address line up there. So you click ship now and just like I explained in my last video, you will have slightly different options here. So first class, male international is anything under 13 ounces. I have seen people use things under 15 ounces and lower under here. So I have tried it out for myself and it does go through. So first class, male international and also first class male, even through national is 15 ounces or less first class package is anything over a pound so 16 ounces and above 16 ounces is equivalent to one pound so this is when you click package but keep in mind you don't get any insurance and you don't get promise tracking with this because i did ask my postal service and they said that the tracking for first class package is not promised as for priority mail you will always get a tracking updated in any country but for the package one not every single country is going to scan it in so you might have it scanned for just the u.s and then right when it goes overseas you won't have any more scans and you won't have any more tracking and you can't do anything about it priority mail express is you know fast shipping and priority mail international is what i usually use if it's over a pound as well so this is what I like to use for majority of the time is Priority Mail International. You'll click package if you're shipping in your own poly mailer or your own box. And then of course you have all the flat rates. You can choose there and get any of the flat rate stuff for free through your local post office. So let's just say my item weighs about one pound and three ounces. Now for this, you don't have to have dimensions. You just have to have the pounds and the ounces. Even if you do under a pound, it's still gonna ask you for the pounds. So you just put in zero pounds, 12 ounces, if it's less than a pound. But we're gonna do priority mail package and do one pound, three ounces. I'm gonna go to calculate shipping cost. As you can see, it's pretty expensive to ship through international that's only because this is such a heavy item it's over a pound so if you were shipping something like just a basic t-shirt or something that was like maybe six ounces to this canadian address then it would be about three dollars and fifty cents 
So it really, really depends. You can also do 12 ounces and just play around with different weights. That way you can give people a good estimate. Going to Priority Mail, I'm gonna just do, let's do one pound, one ounce. And I'm gonna show you how to fill out a customs form. Here it says, please add a customs information. So you click on this button and this is gonna pop up. So you always wanna push gift and then you want to just click on the number of items that you're shipping. So if you're just shipping one shirt, let's just say we're shipping a sweatshirt. So I'm just gonna type in here sweatshirt or like white Nike sweatshirt. You know, just be like a brief description. It doesn't have to be too long, but it does have to be a description of what you're sending. And then you do quantity one. The value, just value it however much you want to. I like to value things for what the person paid for. So let's just say that the item I listed was about $30. And then the weight you put in here again that you put in previously. So one pound, one ounce. The country of origin, I put United States because I'm from the United States. So that is where it's coming from. And the HS code, you don't have to worry about that. That it does not apply for small businesses or anything like that. So you can leave that blank. Once you do that, additional information, you don't have to worry about any of this stuff down here. You just click on this box that you read the shipping prohibitions and restrictions. And you put save customs form and then right here you'll see view completed customs form and it'll have a green check mark so once that's done you push confirm and pay and then you'll have a shipping label printed you just print that shipping label cut it out clear tape it onto your package or print it out on a shipping label sticker put it on your package drop it off at the post office just like normal it's the exact same thing so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it really helped you guys out if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and if you have any questions about national united states shipping please go look at my other video i go into very much detail on that video and also how i package my items i have another video on that as well so thank you guys so much feel free to check out my depop my depop is at o underscore it's lissa that's where i do all of my business for selling all of my clothes so please check that out and subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you really really enjoyed it and it helped you out a little bit and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much and i'll talk to you guys later Thank you.